Today we're going to show you how to remove a wheel, an alloy wheel specifically, um, when all the lug nuts are uh, pretty screwed. I tried getting these off in an impact, breaker bar, everything. If you uh, ever work on Jeep Cherokees, mostly all Chrysler products, they use these lug nuts with the chrome cap on them which are utter garbage and they get rust under them and then they never come off and if you should happen to have a vehicle with those on them throw them the F away and get something better um, but see we got one off the rest of these are all stripped this one broke so you're gonna need a acetylene torch to do this the right way um, you can sit here and do it with a chisel but you'll be here all day weeks months years um, the proper way to do this was in settling torch and uh, some front end grease. So I'll, first thing we're going to do is just this whole area we're going to be working on. Anywhere the heat could possibly touch, we're going to slather that with grease. The only part you're not going to put it on is the lug nuts. Okay, you can see here that I've slathered a pretty healthy dose of high temperature wheel bearing grease all over the front of the wheel here. I'm not really worried about the outside because we're not going to be around there with the heat, but all this in here anywhere the flames are going to splash out you want to cover this try not to get any on the lug nut but if you do it's okay it'll burn off um, the idea behind this is this is high temperature grease which means it can reach several several hundred degrees almost a thousand degrees before it actually melts so that's going to be taking the heat rather than the coating on the wheel so if you don't do this, you can still cut them off. You know, if you're just going to throw the wheel away, you don't have to do this. Um, if you want to save this wheel, which this one I do, um, you have to put this on because otherwise it'll turn the wheel black and you'll never get it off. You'd have to repaint the wheel or, or what have you. So we're going to go ahead and get our torch fired up here. I like to use a welding helmet set on grind because it is going to throw sparks out. And they're going to hit you right in the face, which isn't fun. We're going to get our torch lit up here. We want a fairly hot flame, but not so that it's backing out of the hole. The idea is to work quickly. Start in the center of the stud and just make circles. Now that you've got them cut down until you got just a little bit of just a little bit of room under the ridge, you'll see when that when the stud actually starts to go through, that's where you want to stop. Don't worry about messing up the rim because steel and aluminum are two different kinds of metal, and uh, the steel actually will heat first before the heat transfers to the aluminum because it's a much larger piece of metal as opposed to the stud. The stud's going to heat faster than the wheel. Um, aluminum also has really good heat dissipating properties so it gets rid of it faster. But you want to just get it down far enough that you can take your handy dandy air chisel here 
with a regular tip on it. You'll see like that. The stud will give way and there's the rest of our lug nut. And you can see in there, the rim's not even hurt. And here we are. Off comes the wheel. Dump out any extra slag. And you can wipe all this grease off now. And that's how you remove hopelessly damaged lug nuts without destroying your rim.